have one, hopefully I'm in this profession for a long time, but I'll always only have one first team, and I couldn't have, have picked a better one. Do you have any idea what your future will be? If you, I know you have a lot of time to think about it, but you know what's going on? No, I don't. I, um, you know, I, I haven't spoken a word to anybody about it. Uh, I haven't thought about it, um, it because that, that wouldn't have been fair to these guys to take away from what we were trying to accomplish. So, uh, you know, I'm sure tomorrow, I guess i got to start giving some thought to that. But, uh, you know, it's there's just been... We've just been trying to play basketball, and uh, you know now that it's over, I guess we'll, we'll get ready for whatever the next chapter is. David, have you received any indication from the university that they'll retain you? No, I've not spoken one word with anybody about the future of this program or myself. There'll be a lot of discussion. Any, any, any guys coming back or anything like that? Do you get a chance to think about what your future holds here? Uh, nah, I'm just worried about this season and about the NIT, so uh, we'll just see what happens. How, how is it? How tough is it knowing that the future is kind of uncertain with the coaching staff and everything like that? Uh, just taking it day by day. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, right now, just take a, take a little bit of time off and just kind of get back to how will you? Academics and all that. You know, for me, I like playing alongside these guys, so I don't see why I wouldn't come back. Any favorites for the head coach? Uh, no, not really. I haven't even looked into that. Uh, the whole season, I've just been worried about the next game. So today, I, all I was worried about was playing against Mississippi State. Uh, tomorrow, I'm just going to be really reflecting on the season. You know, next year, whatever happens next year happens next year. You know, me and my guys are going to decide what we want to do. But uh, like I said, we like playing alongside each other. Do you know what your future holds next? Uh, not for sure. Uh, I'm going to take the approach to uh, DA, Bingham Bill, and uh, Donovan Mitchell did last year. They tested the waters and did some workouts and stuff. Um, I'm going to do that this year just to see what I have to work on and how I need to fill up this basketball player this summer. You had a pretty incredible year. I mean, do you think that you're ready? Uh, of course, I think I'm ready. I'm physically probably not, but mentally, I, I think I got it pretty, pretty squared up. Gang, do you think you've played your last game this year? I, mean, I haven't thought about any of that yet. I mean, just, just trying to finish the year right, uh, you know, see what happens with everything. You know, here in Louisville and you know, just trying to you know, hang out with my teammates a lot more. The way you understand it, though, since you tested last year, you could do it again, right, if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll probably do that again just to see you know, what I need to work on and if I'm ready. If you're ready or not. So that a lot of that would hinge on what happens you know, in the next couple months? Yeah, I mean, i got to make a decision soon, so I'm going to just, just get away and get some rest for a little bit and then you know, just kind of reflect and just uh, think what's best for me. How much of it... A, a Depends on what happens here. A lot, um, because you know, obviously, you don't know who's going to be the coach. You don't know, uh, you know, what's going to happen with the program and for the future. So that plays a lot of a lot of it. So I missed the first part. You, you say you're kind of you don't know what you're going to do next year. Um, just he yeah, asked me if I had any plans on leaving or anything, and it's just. I don't know right now. I was just focused on the season, and now we got to see how everything is going to fold out here. We talked to Zang and Donovan about some advice going on the what the process kind of is. Uh, I haven't, I haven't yet. I mean, we just lost today, so I, I, was, I was just dialed in on the NITs and who we play next and start of course, and all that stuff. I wasn't even worried about that. We ain't going outside today. I'll um, definitely look into that with Donovan. I mean, we've talked previously from, from today. I mean, we talked about our back after this dunk, dunk contest. And it's tremendous, uh, tremendous for the season that he's been having. I mean, we always talk about that. He's my guy. But I'll definitely, I'll definitely be sharing some information. Kill, kill, kill. We get a minute. I'm just, I mean, like I said, I mean, really we've been in season mode thinking about the season. We haven't thought about any of that yet. I mean, me personally, I haven't. Let me ask you this, man. I read your article in the Courier Journal this morning. Um, any thoughts on your future coming back next year, who the coach may be? Uh, have, you, have you thought about transferring at all? I mean, I know it's a tough question to answer right now. but I, guess I mean, I right now I haven't really thought about all that. I'm just trying to finish school uh, and, worry, and worry about my grades and stuff and worry about getting better for next year. Um, this, right now, this is home for me. I, lo I love it here. I love all the guys I'm around, so I don't, I don't plan to go anywhere. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't really talked to anybody about like how much the fans affected whether they or not they want to stay here. But um, I mean, as for me, I don't plan on going anywhere as of this moment. But you know, you never know what the future has to hold.
field. I don't know what's going to happen for next season, so we'll see. Now, I know that you just said that you want to take tonight to start the thought process to you know, kind of unwind, but does it depend on who the coach they bring in? If it's not David, uh, is, is that going to play a part to your decision? Yeah, I believe that will play a part, um, whether they keep David or bring in a new guy. Um, it just all depends. Ray, I know you've been asked this a dozen times tonight, and you'll get it a lot more, but what are your plans for next season? Yes, sir. I mean, um, again, I don't know what exactly my future holds besides me testing the waters this summer, working out. Um, Good luck. 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 See what my future is. June, you better watch out for Terry. Do you, do you have any sort of preference for a future head coach? Or do you like a pageant stay? I don't, I don't have any preference at all. I mean, yeah. I, I would love for Coach Pageant right, to stay, but um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he did move a lot this year, so I, mean, I don't know if he really wants to do that. But whatever they want to do, I'm happy for him. I'm glad for him. I much respect him. Uh, whatever decision he makes, I'm going to do something about him on that. You guys are a tight knit group. Have you all talked about it as a group on what your future as a whole might be? No, we haven't. Uh, we really just been focused. Like we was focused on the tournament. We wanted to make the tournament that didn't happen, so we focused on winning the NIT tournament, and that didn't happen either. So now I believe that some of us will come together and just talk about how everything. Is